What I'm going to do is this. Um, I'm taking the silver skin off. You're taking the silver skin off? Yeah, this is not a good thing. You don't want to eat this. I mean, you could, but I wouldn't. Yeah, right, because it's a little chewy? Yeah. A little sinewy? Yeah. Right. Take out some of the Right, and then the next thing you're going to do is uh, put a rub on it. We're going to season it a little bit, and then we're going to um, I'm going to sear it off on the barbecue grill. Hopefully, it's hot out there. Uh, and then, no, no, then I'll like stir it in a pan. You know, right, to you lock in the juices. Yeah. Right, and then I'll I'll we'll make it the salt and pepper and lots of salt and pepper. Yeah, and a lot of this, uh, uh... It's a rub? So you're putting the rub yeah. on the, the beef loin? Yeah. Okay, go outside with it though, okay? Uh, yeah. 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 You don't spill. A little pepper. <clears throat> right. Now, do you let this rest a while, or...? Uh, you don't have to. Okay. And there's probably pepper in this, but I don't care. I, I like pepper, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Pepper's not a bad thing. And it's like, you get a lot of strong tastes in this, so mm -hmm. pep, pep, someone's not going to go, ah, oh, there's too much pepper, you know. Beef, <clears throat> right. beef is like, you know, one of the stronger, not really one of the strongest, but it's a stronger taste than me, so you okay. can a whole lot of barbecue sauce okay. here. I just want to, I'm going to sear this, yeah, you know. Okay, so you're throwing it on the grill. Yeah, I'm gonna let it sear, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna um, sear it on both sides, give it a couple minutes, and then I'll finish it off with uh, bacon in the oven, okay. with string tie. You don't have to do this step, oh, okay. but I think it's nicer right. to do it this way. I mean, you can just wrap it with a bacon, and because right. uh, last time you wrapped it with bacon and put it in foil. Yeah, I don't want to do that only okay. because what will happen is you're not really. I, I hopefully I'm getting it crisp in the oven as it's cooking. Okay. No, so. it's still on the grill. This is an optical illusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, you seared it. Now we're gonna go into the kitchen and Wrap do our it and thing. Wrap bacon and finish it up. Okay. Do our thing. Yeah. Right. And I'm. Just looking at well. And I think I might do a different technique about the. How are you? Uh, Good, how are you? Fine. Little puppy. I'm in the middle of something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is more automatic. <laughs> okay. Hey, Bonnie. Hi. Hey, what's going on? Mac and cheese in the house. In the house. <laughs> well, there's a citrusy smell in here. Now? Yeah. So. Salad? Well, I'm taking this plates, kind of... Plates, plates, plates. I'm actually going to come over here because I'll be less in people's way. So, hey, Mike. so is uh, now are you going to weave this one or are you going to do... Yeah, I'm going to weave this one. So you're starting the weaving process. Hey, Bill, how's it going? Okay, with bacon is the big pan, and without bacon is the small pan. Okay. Oh, that's very interesting. What you do is you start in the middle, and then you, uh, oh, it's every other piece of bacon. Now, would it be easier to accomplish this if the bacon was a little more cold, or is it easier because it's... Warm. Fun. Okay. And, uh, as you can see, I just like alternate, alternate, alternate. Uh, right. Uh, hi, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, the filet mignon I have wrapped in bacon. I'm just showing you that I'm going to finish wrapping it up. And then we're going to broil it, you know, in the oven. 
400 degrees, just uh, finish it off so the bacon crisps up. And I want it like medium, medium rare. I don't want it like done too, you know. Mm -hmm. So I've seared it off, and uh, if I had any brains at all, I would have started the oven off. So, uh, but I'm not gonna. Uh, oh, okay. And then you're gonna wrap it up here. Right. So what are we doing now? I'm going to make hollandaise sauce. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to want, this is going to heat up. You know what? I'm going to pop it in. You know what? I put it in a hot oven. Okay. <laughs> You're not made for production, Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, he's going to open it up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. I'm gonna flip it and then put it back in. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I guess that's the hollandaise sauce that you made too. Yes. <clears throat> now this is to help it cook evenly, right? Yeah. Well, sometimes... Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. Right. I should have string tied it. So. Right. But I wanted to do the weave. It's not, the bacon strips weren't long enough. Right. But right. I, when I flip it back over... You'll tuck it back in? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll make it look good for presentation. Okay. I'm not it this is, I want to get it pretty rare. I don't want it like okay. rare. But... Uh, Okay, cool. So I'm going to pull it on with it like five minutes. Well, you've, you've mittened yeah, I think up. that's a nice retro piece she has. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's old school. Yeah. That's not hot, right? No. Okay. The hilarity of trying to do a video and everything else. I'm going to make it look pretty on the plate. Okay. That's, oh wow, it's braided. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he braided it, yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Put it in the soy. So this is, now, yeah. what we're going to do is this hollandaise sauce is going to go in here. We're going to let it cool because if I put it on now, it's too hot and my sauce will break and you don't want your hollandaise sauce to break. Because if there's anything that pisses me off, it's a broken hollandaise <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Okay, that means I'm, the butter will melt and the eggs will cook. That's right. very bad. <laughs> right, right. You know? Okay. Sounds great. Hollandaise. Um, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. That's a filet wrapped in bacon. Right. And we're just going to pour a little bit of this on. And, uh, you know, what I might suggest is if you're going to make this, don't see your cardiologist for a couple days. <laughs> That's beautiful. My doctor. Oh my god. My doctor's probably. Is it time for people to come and get yeah. it? It's time to come and get it. Bring your plate. I will This is rare. This is I love this. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Chef Dave. This is incredible. I just have to show you the perfect texture. Oh, beautiful. It's been perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's delicious. Yeah.